welcome to its topic from today we are going to start chapter 10 because uh, very few days left for your pre board or annual examination and this chapter is required for your board examination and here total marking will be 5 from this chapter in uh, chapter name is introduction to object oriented programming in short OOP in this uh, chapter you will learn about paradigm you will write about the procedural programming and object oriented programming you will learn only the theories you will not write any program means what what technique or what what method or steps we use to write a real life program or software or application first we will come to programming paradigm programming paradigm ki hoy in the context of the programming languages the term term paradigm is means paradigm means set of design principle that defines programming structure it is an approach to programming jeti ami programming language eta design koru ba programming eta likhu hetu kisuman principles mane niyom niti ba eta special structure mani solibo lage hetu e hol paradigm language to paradigm ba programming paradigm a problem can be solved in many different ways in or approaches a programmer can evaluate different approaches in order to select the best option who love maths you know that to solve the same problem you can find out many solutions you will have different ways to solve a problem so it will depend on you which you are going to use and which solution is uh, easy for you to understand so program the programmer also he have freedom or he have rights to select the best of approaches or the method to do the program programmer zoni nizor mote sobotke bhal loga method ba approach to select koribo so a computer program can be developed using different programming languages that belong to different paradigms different languages will have different paradigms like a a c language paradigms like a c language follow procedure oriented uh, pop and but another hand c++ it follow object orient so different languages follow different paradigm and both have some advantages and some disadvantages merit means advantage and demerit means some disadvantages or limitations the programming paradigm is able to writing style of organization program code in a specific way like uh, you will see when we are writing c program or python or any other languages we follow some rules we follow some way to write the program we can't write according to our wish like in literature while you write the answer you can write anything because there you can use your creativity but the same method you cannot use for science there you have to write exactly what it want so here also while we write the program we may have different method to do to solve the same problem but which language we are choose or which technique we have choose for that we have to use some specific way or specific step that we cannot do according to our wish the computer programs are written in different programming languages its programming language has unique programming style that implement a specific programming paradigm for example c language follow procedural programming paradigm where c++ python java are said to be object oriented programming paradigm there are many programming paradigms out of which most two important programming paradigms are procedure orient programming and object orient programming this is important for examination it may ask how many paradigms are there for programming language so for that you will write there are many programming paradigms but there are just two important one and they are procedure orient and object orient first we will come to pop 
POP or in short procedure oriented programming. Procedure oriented programming can be defined as programming model which is based upon concept of calling procedure. You have already got this in uh, chapter 7 I hope in function chapter when we call a function to do some, some work. There what we do we write a function and we use that function whenever we require that is known as procedure oriented programming we will create some function and we will store it in the program or somewhere and whenever we require we call them to carry out the work or tasks during a program's execution any given procedure might be called at any point including the procedures itself that is recursive you know that a function can call itself to do some work that also can be done sometimes a procedure can call itself to do some meaningful work the procedural programming aims dividing a large program into smaller program called procedures now when you are writing a program to calculate the area of rectangle or to draw a simple pattern or to add two numbers or find the greatest number they are very small program they finish in just 10 to 15 lines there if we don't use procedure still it work fine but when we are creating a big application jeti ami dangor application eta bonam likhim tete ami ki koru dangor complete problem to part part hisabe divide korilo suppose moi eta online e shopping or app bonam tete mor tate bahut part thakibo login or part thakibo registration thakibo account management thakibo then uh, product bill akor display koribo kane database thakibo so there will be different different parts so many parts and this all the problems i will divide it some small small groups and this its group will call procedure procedure and its group can relate to another group like when uh for example for this shopping app only when a user want to buy something suppose the user is log out or the user is not login then it automatically con call the login procedure when he or she wants to buy something so this way it will work and for that we have to use some procedure some languages which follow procedure they are c fortran pascal basic cobol algol and these are cobol two times it's given so you will learn one time only no need two time in procedure oriented programming the programming code is organized as set of procedures called functions we have already learned in function chapters by using functions we can divide a long program into some small small parts the functions operate program data is called variable aru he program function bila kam koribo kane data lagibo ba information lagibo aru he bila ko ami variable buli ko its function consists of computational statement and solve part of the problem these functions can be called many times depending upon the algorithm of the program to solve particular problem for example a program may involve collecting data from user performing some kind of calculation on that data and printing data screen when it is required calculating and reading printing can be written in a program which help in different function and different tasks and there is no limit to call a function we can call a function for multiple number of times whenever required or according to our algorithm design and when we call a function this function do some computational computational tasks or some logical tasks and give us some values or uh, display us some results pop is related to conventional style this approach is also known as top down approach pop what jitu ami approach use koru he approach tuk ami top down approach hisabe janu etu monot rakhiba top down approach in this approach program is divided into functions to perform some specific tasks tasks this approach is mainly used in medium size applications data is global and all the function can access the global data now here comes global option uh, keyword we have learned about global variable also in 
function chapter chapter 7 global variable means it is a variable which can be called out from any function it can equally access by any other function in top down approach what we do we divided the program in some small small functions and each function do some tasks and this type of approach is suitable for medium size applications not for big big applications medium size you will know about this sizes medium size large size later on if you continue in computer science so in this uh, approach when we divide the program in some small small functions they can access some global data and this global data can access by all the functions the basic drawback of the procedural programming approach is that data is not secured because data is global and can be accessed by any function program control flow is achieved through function calls and go to statements so this is one disadvantage when we divide the program in functions so whatever data we have it can equally call by all the functions so sometime it will be a demerit or disadvantage of programs because uh, and this data call and all function call is controlled by the flow of the program or which we call as go to statement procedure oriented program basically contain multiple functions into the program so here is one figure how we divided a program into multiple functions we can use flowchart or algorithm to show how program execution executed from one function to another it does not emphasis on data for example this is our main function in main function we have function 1 when we call function 1 it will go to function 1 and function 1 may call function 4 so it will go to function 4 again function 4 may call function 6 so this way all the programs are related to the main function from the main function only we can access all other functions in a multi function based program we use global variable to communicate between two functions global variable can be used by any function at any time and a local variable are only used within the function now suppose we have a variable integer a outside the main function or any other function then that variable can be accessed by all the functions but we have a variable inside function 2 here we have a variable so this variable as it is inside the function so it is a local variable and this variable can only access by function 2 only other functions will not able to access that variable so this is the difference between local and global variable global variable can by can be accessed by all the functions uh, that are available in that program but local variable only that particular function which included it so remember this difference between local and global also global variable are accessed by all the functions so any functions can change its value at any time and will be affected so these are some global data we have some variables so this uh, data can be changed by function 1 as well as function 2 and function 1 also suppose uh, that function 1 did some calculation change the global data at similar time function 2 also did some calculations and changed the global data so each time some function do some calculation and change the data it will affect to all other functions so this will be a big disadvantage for procedure oriented programming some characteristic of procedure oriented programming it emphasizes on algorithm large programs can be divided into smaller programs that are known as function function can communicate by global variable means if one function want to communicate with another one through global variable they can do it data move freely from one function to another through parameters we can move the data function charge the value of data at any time or any place function transform data from one form to another means that uh, class now you have learned we can change the that type of the data that is called type casting from integer to float or character to string these things we can do by using functions and it used top down approach 
most procedural programming language offer extensive library or predefined library functions for example in c we use printf scanf these are some library functions now advantages the procedural programming languages are relatively much easier to learn and as first programming language for beginners as you have seen in school you are getting c language not c++ because it is a procedure oriented language and they are very easy to learn and especially for beginners the straightforward program organization makes ideal choice as general purpose languages this is the use of standard library functions like we use some library function scanf std uh, standard library or max library this what happened it reduced the size of the codes and even it saved the development cost and time because we don't have to write this functions again so we can save time so we have to pay less money to the developer it have some disadvantages also the procedural programming is not suitable for large and complex software it's only for mid range or medium sized or small size software it is difficult to represent the real world object means actual whatever application we are getting at present like that software we can't make by using this type of languages it is difficult to protect the data from difficult for a procedural programming language as we are not uh, storing the data as in another object or something so it's a bit different when we have to make some update and all we have to write so large so it take time the procedural programming functions are most important component of the program and the data does not get the attention and in a procedure control program functions are important in the data data are getting very less importance so these are some advantages and disadvantages in this video we have learned the paradigm of programming languages there are many paradigms paradigms means the method which we follow to write a program there are many kind of paradigms there are two most popular paradigm they are procedure oriented and object oriented in this video we have learned about procedure oriented here what we do a main a, a big program program we divide it into some smaller parts and this method is known as top down approach and here this its part are known as function and function can call itself its to its others if we have multiple function if they want to communicate they can communicate through global data or global variable so this are important part about this one pop or procedure oriented programming in next video we'll learn about object oriented programming after that we'll try practice the questions here from here you have to learn only the theory questions there will be no programming and all so this chapter will be easy one Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.